Hey there, folks. It's been a while since I've done any kind of tests. But, um... I'm going to do a test that I've been wanting to do for a long time. But, of course, I'll let you look at the Sifton. This kind of works on this carrier for test purposes, but it's by no means a blowout carrier. So... I'm going to do a test that I don't think has been done before on YouTube. And I've wondered for a long time what it would be like to try and bucket flush a blowout toilet. And I actually did some bucket flushes on my old channel a few years ago. And I, I actually think I kind of started a bucket flush thing after that. But the reason that I originally wanted to bucket flush some of my toilets was because if it was mostly for flushometer toilets because if a flushometer toilet was installed on a well system and the power goes out you have no well water well normally in my house when the power goes out we keep buckets of water in the basement to flush toilets and we can either fill the tank or more likely we just you know, bucket flush into the bowl. But with a, a flushometer toilet, you have to bucket flush into the bowl, which I think is interesting. And I'm especially curious to see if it's easy or hard to bucket flush a blowout toilet because it can't siphon. And so that's the reason why I want to do this test. And I so I think uh, I'm very curious. So I'd like to do this with a few more toilets for sure, the Sifton. And I would like to do it with the Tribor, my 1992, uh, 1992 Tribor as well, because that toilet, even though it is a siphon jet toilet, it doesn't, uh, doesn't siphon very well. But anyway, so I think I'm going to do three flushes. I'm going to do a, five ga a full five-gallon bucket flush start with and then I have a couple of rags that I'll attempt to flush and uh, we'll go from there I'm not going to do this too many times because it's kind of a pain to lug buckets of water so stay tuned okay so the bowl is full of water it's actually not fill, full all the way but my bowl's not sitting level either so I've got about four gallons of water in my bucket and I'm just going to dump the whole thing in and see what it looks like. Okay, so that's not very interesting. And of course it doesn't siphon, it just levels out slowly to the natural water level in the bowl. So next I'm going to refill my bucket and we'll stick a rag in there and we'll see how well it flushes a rag. Okay, the first thing I'm going to flush is a terry cloth. And I just kind of laid it in there and let it soak up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to start pouring but I'm not necessarily gonna try to dump the whole bucket in if the rag flushes early then I'm gonna quit pouring and see how little water I can get away with just to see how efficient this is or isn't Okay. Well, I can tell you it's still in there. It's um So 
so I think what happened was that the rag kind of went off to the side for most of the time that I was pouring in, so most of the water was going straight past it, which is kind of the problem because it's kind of the na we're trying to flush this toilet as a um, a wash down. So you kind of it's kind of a displacement theory. The bowl can't necessarily just evacuate itself. You got to flush a certain amount of water down there hard enough. So uh, yeah, we're getting results. I will. Well, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna go to my red microfiber rag because that's even harder to flush. But let me fill up another bucket. And we'll try the terry cloth again. Okay, we'll try this again. I've stuffed the terry cloth in the trapway. And my hope is that, because it's already positioned in the trapway, the water that I dump in will hopefully push it out pretty early. So let's try it. Okay, it uh, it made it most of the way out, but I th it almost acted like it was caught um, in the last little bit of the trapway, kind of like that. And you know, normal normal waste probably wouldn't do that. Probably, you never know. But um, I think it's safe to say that this fixture would be pretty hard to bucket flush efficiently. I think you'd need a lot of water to do it. I mean, I could flush stuff through there. I mean, I'm sure this rag, you know, or um, anything from normal use. But I think it would take more than five gallons of water to do it. And you have to dump it in, like, all in at... at uh, all in in an instant. You don't want to hesitate like I just did both times. I was hoping maybe I could get away with less water, but I really don't think I can. So, that's interesting. Um, I, I guess I found out what I wanted to know. I was curious as to how well or how bad these toilets will bucket flush. And I'm happy with the results. Well, it is a result. <clears throat> So, I hope you enjoyed the, the test and the video. Um, I hope to do this with some of my other flush, flushometer toilets. And if I get some time before fall, uh, we'll try the American Standard Tribor and maybe some others. So, I'll see you guys later.